Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into Big Brother 25. Let's go. Jared walking around hugging on Blue because she's nominated is just not a good look. He does not know how to play this game. And I know his mother is furious at him because I am. I'm tired of Jared, right? Jared is not playing this game well because if people keep seeing them together, they could take Jag off the block and put you up there. And then you and her will be up there. Ceri's going to be upset because you linked yourself up with Blue. And she knows that's not good gameplay. And she's told you to stop. He, I'm tired of Jared. So Red and Cameron are in the HOH room. And they're talking about those three ladies that are in an alliance together. Izzy, Felicia, and Ceri. Now, he didn't say anything about Ceri. But his whole focal point is Izzy because when Cameron won HOH, Izzy was so lackluster in her celebration, Red did not like that. And Cameron feels like we need to get her out of here. Izzy better get with it because she going to go soon. If one of those people come off the block, Izzy's definitely going up. Izzy better get herself together, her face, her attitude and everything. Because if one of those people come off the block, she's going to be the replacement. I know Jack is so happy to take this chicken outfit off. Now they have chicken in the kitchen to eat after he does. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Jared has laid himself up here with Blue and talking about he wants to see, you know, pretty much how loyal she is to him. So he didn't tell her that Sari is his mother. He said, what if I was related to someone in here? Mama Felicia. Jared, you may as well tell her that Sari is your mother. It doesn't matter. You've said you're related to someone in the house. This boy does not know how to play the game. And Sari is going to be mad. This is not going to end good. Child, now she has sat up here and figured it out, right? The statewide, he said that he has people that live in connecticut and new jersey um he said that his mom has been around game shows and he's been around game shows so she's like sari has been on survivor four times so she is figuring it out like izzy is in the group with sari izzy knowing is okay jared is messing up the game like he needs to go so Matt has gone upstairs in the HOH and he's talking to Cameron and Cameron is talking about Felicia, Izzy and Sari because he realizes that's a tight alliance, right? So Cameron has made another alliance of six people. So what does Matt do? He does the right thing. He goes straight downstairs. He calls Sari in the room and he tells Sari that Cameron is devising another alliance of six. So he'll be in it and he can let her know what's going on. Now, the thing is this, if somebody comes off of that block, they're going to put Izzy up and Izzy is in Ceri's core three alliance. It's a lot going on. So the people have come together to gather in the bathroom to let everybody know that Corey and America are in the swing bed snuggling, right? So Izzy comes in and says, maybe we should just throw them some condoms. They're in here giggling under these covers, right? This is not good gameplay either, but it's fun for right now because nothing else is going on. But then when Izzy goes to look for the condoms, Jared quickly says that they're in the storage room. They go down to the storage room, all the condoms are gone. And the cameras pan to these two. This boy does not know how to play this game. Girl, I hope you ain't gave that up to him on the camera like that. So Felicia has gone into the storage room. She has opened all the drawers in the storage room. She goes back in the bathroom and she says, they gone. And then she said, it may be Jared and Blue. He does not know what he's doing. So these are the people who would be playing in the veto. Cameron got red. He had house guest choice. Uh, Blue picked Jared. That's who she wanted to play. And Jack picked McCall. McCall wants the nominations to stay the same because she doesn't care which one of these go. So we'll find out who the winner is. The riddle is, yay who wills, the power is golden. It's the golden power of veto. 
He has put every combination together except for the right one. He has done this at least seven times. This is how he's standing back looking at the word golden. Okay, Jared. So Red has won the veto. Now, he could keep the nominations the same or him and Cameron can get up there and work a plan out. We just got to wait and see. So Red did not use the power of veto. Jag and Blue are still on the block and somebody's going home tonight. Talk to you later. Bye.